Hello and welcome to Repercussion Drama School Studios. Um, this morning I want to talk to you about uh, an idea I've had for films. Um, in the Drum Sense book there's a list of exercises that, that take you through sort of constructing fills out of 16th notes. And, and those are brilliant, but if you're looking for the next step on from that, you can start to introduce something that I've called uh, the, 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 the fill game, really. And all you need for this is four dice, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to throw these four dice, and we're going to be looking for numbers kind of two, three, four, six. If you get a one and a five, they, they can be used, but they're not going to be enormously helpful. So what, uh, what I'm proposing to do is, and I get the students to do this, I get them to throw the four dice. If we get any ones and fives, then we re-throw those, and then we take the numbers that we've got, rearrange them into a form that we might be able to use for a fill, and then start to apply that around the kit and see how many combinations we can come up with. So let me show you how this okay, works. Okay, so I've got a four dice here, I'm just going to roll these and see what we get. Okay, so that's not a bad combination. We've got a three, a four, and a four there. Let's roll this five, see what we get. Now we've got another five. Uh, we've got another four. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, that's a very usable combination. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay, so we had our combination of one group of three and three groups of four. So let's just play that around the kit. Okay, uh, let's put the three at the end. Okay, let's put the three as the second beat. Put it on beat three. Okay, so you get the idea there, that's sort of taking just the pattern and applying it to the top half of the kit. Okay, so what about if we start applying it between hand and foot combinations? If I put the three, one, two, uh, sorry, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, put the three on here, split these up between a two on the hands, two on the feet, on each of the toms for the fours, and then two on the hands and one on the feet for the floor tom. Not a bad combination. How about um, we do two on the hands, but we'll divide them between the hi hat and two on the feet, and then three on the floor. Etc. Etc. What about some combinations between flams, maybe, and feet? Or just flams themselves? See, all of those kind of come out of that one throw of the, several, maybe several throws of the dice in order to get a combination we can use. That's just three, four, uh, one group of three, four group of four, and just splitting them up around the kid. It gets you to think creatively using um, a kind of random number generator. And uh, it's come up with, well, I've been playing this with a few people and, you know, just using this myself. It's amazing some of the combinations that you come up with. Um, and it gets you away from the, 
you know, the, the kind of regular fills that you're thinking and, think, and throwing them some numbers and thinking, well, okay, how can I, uh, how can I use that around the kit? How can I, uh, how can I apply that and uh, just get away from the, the kind of stock fills that I might have been playing? I, I've, I've found this really, really helpful. Let's throw, um, let's throw some more dice and see what number combinations we come up with. Okay, so here goes. Throw two. Now that's not bad. Uh, I don't know if you can see this on here. Right, okay. So we've got a three, a six, we've got two fives. Let's roll the, um, the fives again. Now we've got a one and a three. That was not much help. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a nice one. Okay, we've got a combination of two, three, four, and six. I'm liking that a lot. All right, this is a gift of a combination. So we've got a group of two, a group of three, a group of four, and a group of six. So two eighth notes, three triplet notes, four sixteenth notes, and a sextuplet grouping as well. So let's, take, let's just take this. So. Six, four, triple eights, and two eight notes. Okay, well, how about this combination? of examples of um, rolling the dice, seeing what the numbers come up with and trying to apply them in different ways to their kit and, and sort of really getting you to think about well what can I do with that combination of numbers and note values, what can I do to, to really kind of uh, learn about switching between the gears of the note values and everything, it's, it's great, I mean you know it's, it's a lot of fun, you, you throw this into your practice routine, it throws a bit of chaos into something that might be a fairly regimented routine and everything and you know you're that you know the dice are going to come up with all kinds of combinations and then it's up to you to apply those to the kit in all kinds of ways you know between the hands and the feet between the hands symbols all that kind of stuff as i say if you've uh, if you've been working through the drum sense book and you've looked at all the the combinations in there and you're looking for another step in into in, in thought well how am i going to generate my own numbers for this then um, you know this might be uh, this might be something that you consider. Okay. Anyway, uh, take it easy out there. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Uh, the the idea really is more than a lesson. Uh, it's um, leave your feedback, post videos up of the combinations you come up with, um, and just keep in touch. Okay. Take care. Bye for now.